The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We've got something special today, folks. I posted the picture on the cover of my very good friend who I've been seeing here oh, for many, many years. He sends my, his, my family over to visit his family just about every year. Haven't been here for three years because of COVID and a bunch of other stuff, but uh, we're having a wonderful visit and... Uh, uh, he has written a book called Plato and the Koran. Uh, I met him uh, through Tom Hugard in 2007. He came over to spend a week with me in Tucson, Arizona. And when he left, uh, he left me a, a beautiful gift. And we became, uh, before we became friends, even before the gift, but we became friends uh, through the years. And now I got to see his two lovely daughters. They're uh, young ladies now in their early 20s. And I just couldn't believe it when I saw them. They've grown up. Uh, they're sisters and they look exactly alike. So there's no doubting DNA. But any, anyway, the book is called Plato and Koran. And his name is Nor Bashar, which happens to be a pen name. I'm not going to tell you who it was. No, it was not Ian Fleming of 007, but uh, this is a great book, folks. I equal it to uh, The Secret Teachings of All Ages by uh, Manley Hall and also The Dimensions of Paradise by John Michel. Uh, this book, I'm just to give you an example, over the years during my show, I have uh, brought some of the things that he had talked about to your attention. You know, he works in spirals, which are related to, you know, these numbers that we look at. But as you can see here, this is one from a long time ago where he was looking at 2465. But he said the market was going to go much higher up to this level right here. And if you were to look at it, and we're going to look at it in just a minute, that it was going to go up to 2745 is what he was looking at. And so all I did during the times that I was giving the show was to bring these to your attention to show you that the work that he did, you know, was different than anybody else. I mean, he takes these numbers to a level that I've never seen before. And as you can see, there was the high. Of course, it backed off and then it went a great deal higher. Much of the things that he works on are related to the numbers, but he goes far beyond that by using the spirals. The ordinary way of looking at ABCD, and he does look at it that way. You can see the level here of 2487 and the fact that it was making that 1.618 expansion, but that's what he does. His, the book is available on Amazon, uh, well worth the effort. The introduction is about 30 pages, and to me that is one of the most uh, interesting part of the life that he's led and where he came from and uh, his, his education and stuff. And now his daughters uh, are both, uh, one is just out of college and she's got her own little Audi sports car. And the other little one now, she, who actually is taller than her sister by about two inches, she just received a scholarship, PhD, at one of the major universities here uh, in the UK, full scholarship to get a PhD. And I hope she gets it in PhD in trading, but one never knows. But anyway, that is a great book, Plato and the Quran by Noor Bashar. And I think you'll enjoy it. I know you will. I enjoy mine very much because I happen to know the author. Let's go back here and take a look at where the market is going, folks. We're having a nice run now. I'm going to start out here with the uh, the uh, uh, hold on with the uh, hold on with the Nasdaq, and we just made the 382 retracement in the Nasdaq up here at 1424. We've had a big run. This bottom that we had down here. A big run. And this is a big move, folks. We've gone from 45. We've rallied 325 points in the NASDAQ without even stopping. OK, but I don't trade the NASDAQ very much. So let's let's go and we're going to take a look at the S&P because this is what we were looking for today as our first price objective. Now, you'll notice we made a slightly lower hole, low here, folks. This is the low we made early this morning. OK, then we rallied up. Where did we do? We pulled right back to the 382. The ABCD structure on this measures to 4275. We're trading at 4273 right now. 
The 1.618 was 42.76, and there is your number right above there. That means that we should make a correction at least equal to what we made early in the day. You'll see that that would take you down to 42.63. Is that correct? So the next thing we want to do is we want to verify these numbers. Trust but verify. Don't rem don't remember the great president that said that, uh, Mr. Uh, Ronald Reagan. But anyway, you want to see that th these corrections would have been equal if it gets to 42.63, which I think it will be. And it'll also be, if we measure it, you see it's going to come up to the numbers of uh, 1.382 uh, comes in there, 42.63 also. One of the great things that... Uh, Oh, I almost gave his name away. <laughs> Ian Fleming told me was uh, back in those days was uh, the talking about Fibonacci, you know, Fibonacci being Italian. And he sort of snickered and he laughed and he said, well, let me show you something. He's got a library that is second to none. And he went back and he went back into 1178 uh, AD as opposed to um, Mr. Uh, uh, what was his name, uh, Leonardo de Pisa de Fibonacci, and he showed me about Al Jazeera, who uh, did a lot of work with Fibonacci, and he never called it Fibonacci, of course. Uh, Fibonacci uh, called it uh, for himself, but anyway, he was doing Fibonacci work about 150 years before uh, Mr. Fibonacci, but, you know, when you're going back that far in history, you know, who knows? I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's really great, you know, to see the culture. The good part about it, they, those two gentlemen took us from Arabic numbers to Arab Ar arithmetic numbers. And for that, we'll be uh, eternally grateful. So that's what we're watching here as we're looking at some of these markets. Well, let's get to the one that's uh, really shocked a lot of people today. And that is the old bond market. The bond market bottom is in, boys and girls, if I can just find it. Now, that's the key to doing these things and let me try to get these up here and I'm going to put them in cascade fashion and hopefully we'll find the bondolis and here they are folks believe it or not and I know those of you that get the get the videos and stuff I mentioned I said folks watch making new lows here in the bonds there was the old low I said there's a news low and I said watch making new lows and bonds because this could be it and I'll show you why in just one second here You'll see there's a, there's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. I was looking at this uh, really nice A, B, C, D pattern coming in right here. And uh, so what I did was I said, you know, there was a number. So let's try to buy it at the A, B, C, D and not Fibonacci. And with, uh, the number was 106.30. Uh, uh, and uh, it got to 1.072. 1 and now it's rallied three full points full for us folks and guess what i'm standing at the bus stop without a position so makes me a little not a little upset but anyway that's what we're watching here big look at this folks we haven't had a three-point move in one day since hector was a pup and that dog's nine year five years old already so when you look what's going on here on the weekly if you remember we've been talking about this for a very long time there's that number 107 oh my gosh 107 was the low today Shut the front door and raise the rent. Billy Ray strikes again. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look at crude oil. Now, remember the news, I have not seen any news since uh, Saturday, uh, which is, I'm very thankful of that. So I know that there's something still going on in uh, the Far East or Middle East that uh, uh, they're fighting a, a war, but I don't know anything about it. All I do know is I look at the charts, and as you know, this is the crude oil uh, on an hourly basis. And you can see since Sunday night, we rallied Monday right up to the 382 here in London, up here at 88.13, okay? And from that, what did we do? We make a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern coming in exactly, folks, to the exact penny from the low that we made back here on the 13th when that low, when that war was just getting started. It started on the 8th. But there, there it is right there. There's your 61% retracement. There's your A, B, C, D pattern. It's already rallied almost $1,000 from that low. So... Uh, that's a very, very substantial low. You take out the lows of the previous day. These are where most people put their stops, just like they did here. And again, you can see another A, B, C, D happened at that point. So if you have A, B, C, D, you've got something to work with because it tells you, you know, where the market dynamics really are. There's your high, there's your low, A, B, C, D, and it comes again you can see exactly to the exact tick, just like it was looking at here. You know, you can't make this stuff up, folks, but people try to. So that's what we're paying attention to now with the uh, crude oil. Now, we need to get to the gold because gold is still acting quite bullish. As we take a look at the gold gold chart here today, uh, you'll see here we had a nice A, B, C, D pattern here coming in here Sunday night. Again, it's not perfect. We were looking for around 1970. Um, 73 to be the ABCD price. It only got to uh, 1975, so it missed it by a dollar and a half. Then it rallied up, and it didn't quite make the 61% retracement. And then we had the really nice ABCD down here uh, about two and a half hours ago, and that's all it's setting up uh, doing right now. But if you'll notice, we just had another small ABCD here in the gold at the same time. I'll just draw it in so you can see it. There's well, beg your pardon, folks. You notice here how it takes this out? That invalidates the ABCD because the ABCD has to be symmetrical like this, you see? And look what happens. If you try to add that, you see it's not, it goes higher than this, so it cannot be an ABCD pattern. However, 
it can still be a retracement number. And as you can see, that went right down to the old 78% level and held right there and has rallied uh, just a little bit. Looking at this on the longer term weekly that we've talked about several times, I still believe we're heading here, folks. That's uh, 22 and change, 2250. We've got this big move going here in the weekly basis. I do not know whether it's related to the war effort or what's going on. That's not important to me. All I'm watching it is the fact that it's got power. And when you got something as powerful as this, you don't want to stand in front of it. So try to buy the first 382 retracement. We have not had one uh, since right here, which was uh, back on the 16th. There was a little 382 pattern right here. Nothing else ever since. I didn't check the one here from last night. Let's just do that since we're doing this for friends. Let me get the, uh, um, the default thing set so we can see the correct prices there's what I want to see okay we move that over so the last correction we had was right here you notice that we dropped from 47 down dropped 27 dollars was the first correction that we had so we want to go back and find out if this low here is related to that low right there so you go from your low up to your high <laughs> you can't make this up hello operator what are you doing here look at that folks there's your perfect 382 retracement coming off of the low that we made back on the 16th now this move you notice this move here went from 46 down to 20 1920 so it dropped 26 dollars now this move it went from oh uh 2008 all the way down to this level right here which is 76 okay so that was 32 dollars now we know the harmonic number in gold is 32 dollars 32 or 34 so that's the harmonic number and it also matches up with the 382 that you had right here it's a logical place to try to take a look at this was happening sunday night when most everyone was asleep but that's what it actually had to do so what we're doing now is we're going to decide at this point if we're going to continue higher or if we go lower now let's let's play the devil's advocate and say yeah maybe it'll go lower okay so if it does go lower again we want to rely to our old buddy a b c d and that'll take us down here to 1960 folks when we get to 1960 you're going to be fifty dollars lower okay that's where you want to be looking because the harmonic number on that would be 62 and there it is right there there's where you want to look to be a buyer of gold that number right there, Mr. Fibonacci himself or Al Jazeera, whoever you want to pick, there it is at 1955 is what you want to be looking at. That's what you'd like to see. There'll be other swings in here, but right now, this is what we're looking at. Remember, this is a four-hour chart, so each one of these bars is four hours. So just write this down. Write that number down, 1958, because uh, 1954 – that will be a very interesting one. Wow, I was 14 years old when that happened. Shut the front door and raise your hand. Where does the time go? Anyway, that's what we're looking at here in the gold. And we've had a request to take a look at, hold on, let me get this up, Tesla. And let me get this chart up on Tesla, and we'll take a quick look at it. I think it should be rallying like the rest of the stocks. Ah, there we go. Here's Tesla getting a little rally going. It's been hit pretty hard from 270 down to uh, 203 uh, remember folks this right here this is when morgan stanley came out and said this is a 450 dollars stock if we've ever seen it right there and we gapped from 240 to 260 went up to 280 and you never heard a word from morgan stanley did you no you didn't and here's where we are now right there at 205 now we didn't make an abcd on this but we certainly could there's an A, B, C, D possibly down to this level. And we look what we did here, A, B, C, D to the downside. Remember, folks, one of the keys to A, B, C, D is when you see a gap, let's just do this together because it'll be a lot of fun. There's your A, B leg right here. There's your C, D leg right here. When you see a gap like this, the one thing that you have to do is you have to change your C, D swing. In other words, you have to change that swing, not A, B equals C, D. C, D is going to be much, much lower to the downside. So the first thing that I would do is I would come up and just mark the mark this right here, and I'm going to change it. You'll see I'll just click this, and there's your C, D. So I'm going to make it 
Uh, looks like 100. I'm going to make the CD swing 127, 1.27. And if I put that in, that brings you to 210. The low today was 203. So that's pretty close. So we expected it to get to that level. Now the key rises, folks. Where should our rally come to? If you go from your high down to your low, there's your rally up in here. And look at old Johnny right there waving his little uh, placard here in the check in the classroom here at TFNN showing 382 on the scale. Let's take a break. Mr. Norm Winsky of Astro Trends, Naples, Florida, coming right up. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, without further ado, without further ado, we have Norm Winsky on the line from Naples, Florida. Welcome, Norm. Thank you, Larry. Cheers. Go ahead. Please, please start your show. We're ready. Great. Thank you very much, Larry. Uh, I, uh, I usually do a review. I prepared a, uh, a presentation two weeks ago, Monday, on the, uh, that was the uh, 9th. I sent you the notes, but something came up and we were not able to do that. But I did send you notes, and later in the, that day, I did do a video. So if anybody 
would like to see the video on this, I'll be happy to send it to him. I'm going to go ahead and re quickly review what I would have said on the show two weeks ago. We had uh, four points. We had the afternoon of the 10th, I was I was looking to do this on the 9th. Afternoon of the 10th, we had Pluto in Capricorn turn direct. That's the opposite of retrograde. And Pluto has to do with cocoa, hogs, and tea bonds because it was in Capricorn. We also include coffee for that. Then we had the night of the 11th, we had geocentric Mars in a Scorpio. Scorpio has to do with cocoa, hogs, and tea bonds. Then we had the night of the 12th, Jupiter to the U.S. chart. That's stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. And then we had the weekend over the weekend of the 13th, where we had a solar eclipse in the sign of Libra. Anytime we, that's a special kind of new moon. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we look at financials, grains, precious metals. And because in the sign of Libra, we'll also be emphasizing sugar and wheat. So here's our first market now for the... Uh, the moon there, the weekend of the 13th, we look at the opening of the next trading day. If it's overnight, that would be the opening of the, uh, of the Monday the 16th. And had you sold against uh, this exact double top here, uh, you would have made could have made a small amount of money. If you have an opportunity to make some money, that's a green arrow, that's a winner. If you didn't have an opportunity to make some money, that's a red arrow, and that's a miss. Here's beans pulled back into the window there for the moon. And if you bought there, you would have been very happy because you had a very nice rally there for what looks like about 40 cents. You know, so that's about uh, two grand, you know, $2,000. Here's wheat. It was do it, going the other way. We rallied into our lunar window there. And then you made a little short term top there and pulled back. And you could have made a little bit of money there. Uh, sugar, we had on that uh, same window. And that did not work out. As you can see, it popped up and did not reverse like we were looking for. So that's a miss. Here's coffee. It was kind of pulling back into our Pluto window. And as you can see there, had you bought there, you would have been very happy because you know that's a potentially about a 20 cent rally, and which is wor worth about $7,000. So I think it's $7,500 on 20 cents. Here's Coco. I had a short-term top just the next day. We went just a tiny bit higher, and then down, you could have made some money there. I have to be right within one day or a market a miss. Here's Hogs. Here's a miss. It pulled that back into our Pluto window here, uh, but then it just kept going down, down, down. We basically missed this topping area here, so that's a miss. Uh, silver just kind of went nowhere uh, for a couple of days, so that's a miss. And gold did the same. Uh, in recent months, these have been uh, like batting close to 100%, like the precious metals. Here's the S&P. Uh, we were uh, early on our Pluto window here to the top. Uh, then we had our next window was Mars changing signs into Scorpio. That was on the night of the 11th. And as you can see, that was, well, we made a higher high over here. But uh, it was close to the high of the month there. And then you had a very nice pullback here. And then the, our next window was over the lunar eclipse weekend. No, I'm sorry, solar eclipse weekend. And if you bought there against that low, you would have been happy because you could see you had a pretty nice rally there. That looks like about 60 handles there, you know. All right. And here's T-Bonds. did somewhat similar to the S&P. Uh, the Pluto window was just a little bit early on the bonds. Then we had Mars in the Scorpio here. And that was the high of the month for the bonds, and they've been pretty much decimated ever, ever since. And here's the dollar. We had two windows for the uh, two points. Oh, we had another window here for the moon. And that also worked all the way on the T bonds. We also had uh, this window here for the U.S. So one, two, three, and there we go. Here's the dollar. We had two points there, one for the uh, U.S. point there on the night of the 12th. And then for the solar eclipse, uh, we do the currencies on the uh, uh, lunar cycle. And that was a nice short-term top there on the dollar. Uh, here's your currencies. Aussie dollar pulled back into the solar eclipse, and then I had a nice rally. Uh, British pound did the same. And so did the euro. 
and that also had a nice rally. And here's the Japanese yen had a quick pop up the next day. He had a chance to make some money there. So if you add up all the green arrows and red arrows, they had 17 winners, five misses out of 22 for 77.2 percent winners. Okay, uh, in case you missed it last time, well, two weeks ago, I originally showed this chart. This was my September forecast, the blue line there, on a daily basis. You see, here's the dates here for September, starting on August 29th, ending on September 29th. Then I overlay the S&P 10-minute bars on top of that to see if there's a correlation or not. And you can see, I think that worked out pretty well. If you'd like to know more about this and on any of this stuff, feel free to contact me. And also, I always like to remind you, nothing you're looking at is, although maybe somewhat unfamiliar in some of the terminology, once you get familiar with the, some of the terminology, nothing is over a fifth grade level. So if you made it through grade school, you're good to go. So there we go. <laughs> here is, here's what's coming up. We got a busy week coming up, but well, lots of big stuff. So tonight, we have a Venus cycle. Venus, if you want to call me, I'll explain what that is. But we have a, an extreme in the Venus cycle, and Venus is cattle, copper, cotton, sugar, and wheat. So those are the markets. You want to look for a market that is at an extreme. If it's going sideways, it's a pass. So you want a market to be going up or going down, and then there's about a 70, 75% probability that they will, will reverse within a day of that point. Here's the tw night of the 24th. That'll be tomorrow night. Uh, the moon to the U.S. chart. Anytime we have the U.S. chart, stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar. Then also tomorrow night we have a Venus cycle again. That cattle, copper, cotton, sugar, wheat, and then uh, the night of the 26th, uh, that will be a Mercury cycle for uh, cotton, copper. Oh, that's wrong. Ooh, ooh. That should have been the grains. I should have had soybeans. Oh, I got to fix that. I apologize for that. Let me just uh, put Norm, that. Oh, I, Norm, I, we got to pay a few bills here. Hold on one second. Are we doing a yeah. commercial, Larry? Larry? Yeah, we got to do a commercial. Let me double check, Norm. I'll tell you because of time okay. change and stuff. Give me one second. I think we're we're ready to do it. Uh, well, we've only got thirty seconds to go. So what I'd like to All do, right, we're well, going to take a little. I'll finish take this a little list break. here in thirty seconds. Yeah. So no, make, no, no, make we're, them, no, we can't. We can't. We're done. Oh, it's Mercury. It's stay music stay time. I got. Okay. Stay tuned. You got it. Yeah. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insight, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Norm Winsky of Astro trends down there in Naples, Florida. And please, uh, Norm, please continue. You were talking about Venus, uh, the Venus cycle that is due today. Right. And then we were moving on to Mercury. I found out I made a mistake. I fixed that. And I also want to mention, I forgot to mention, that the stocks would potentially respond to all these events rather than having mm -hmm. them type stocks for everyone. I just, just mm -hmm. assume stocks could respond to any of these points, okay? Uh, then we have a Mercury cycle, the night of the 26th. So we'll be looking at the opening. Uh, the, that will be the uh, 27th, Friday, uh, for corn, soybeans, wheat. And then at the end of the week, the weekend, uh, the 27th, we have a lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus, the bull. And anytime we have a lunar, or that's a special kind of full moon, and anytime we have full moon, new moon, Financials, grain, specials, metals, and because it's in the sign of Taurus, we're looking at cattle and cotton. So there we go. And you're, if you don't know me, I've been doing this a long time. I'm coming out with, this should be updated, it's more like 50 years here. But I started my letter on uh, October 31, uh, 1978. I'm coming up with my, uh, the November issue will be my 45th an a annual a anniversary issue. So 45 years for doing this letter. Wow. And let me fix that. And there we go. Uh, then we have, uh, you can contact me, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. If you need to know any of these terminology or anything, or we'll get you uh, signed up for, I'll show you my numbers for the last uh, seven years. I've averaged over 70% uh, winning signals. And uh, if you're not, if you're doing better than that, I'd love to hear about it. <laughs> if you're not doing that well, then you need to call me, I think. Yeah. So We've there got we a go. Question. Here's my contact information. Uh, you can get 239-594-3939 uh, in beautiful Naples, Florida. Or you can email me, anwinsky at yahoo.com. That's N-W-I-N-S-K-I at yahoo.com. Or you can call me on Skype anywhere in the world for free, N-W-I-N-S-K-I underscore one. Looking forward to helping some of the folks. Larry, you got any questions from yes. the Tigers stand there? Yes, we do. We have a question for one of our Tigers. This is from, uh, oh, my goodness, I can't believe it. It's from Champaign, Urbana, Illinois. My gosh, the capital of, uh, no, Springfield's the capital. Champaign, Urbana is where the, where the university is. Uh, the question is, uh, you, you're now a little bit older. Do you get tired of doing this? Is it still fun? That's what his question is. Uh, no, I plan to do this until uh, after I die, and then I'll decide whether I want to keep doing it or not. So you're going to wait till after you die, whether you decide you want to. I'm, I'm going to do that. I think that'll work for me, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. You know, One pe other pe people yeah. in our age bracket, Larry, they like to ask you, are you retired or are you going to retire? Yeah. And I tell them, well, I well, retire. You know, I think it was a Groucho Marx that said, well, you know, he was like in his 80s or 90s and had a a lovely young lady on each arm, and they asked sure. him if he was going to retire, and he said, retire to what? 
<laughs> you know, that's what my kids said to me. I some people say retired. I says is that like being retarded, you know, because I watch people retire and boy, they don't make it long after retirement so much. We have another question here uh, about your about your timing signals. You mentioned that you're usually within one day. Now, is that one day a twenty four hour or is it just a period of uh, opening hours or anything like that? Because sometimes it's sometimes Norm, one, you could be off for two days and it could be a monster move. So how do you handle that? One trading day. One trading day. So you're basically that's it. looking at. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I got to be right with one trading day yeah. or I mark it as a miss. Okay. Well, the next time you're wrong, we'll think about having you on again, but you're doing pretty good so far. So we'll circle this day to day because so far it's a big one. Thanks for joining us, Norm, and we will have you back. Do me a favor and uh, also tell the folks one more time how they can reach you with your uh, email and also your uh, your telephone number, if you would, please. Okay, I just scrolled my page so they can see that on the okay. screen. And you can call Norm at 239-594-3939 in beautiful Naples, Florida, or you can email me at nwinskiyahoo.com. And or you can call me on Skype at N W I N S K I underscore one. Remember, Mr. Gann, who's considered by many to be the greatest market technician of the twentieth century, said that time was more important than price. And Mr. Gann's main thing was Mr. Gann was an astrologer and that's how he arrived at these key times. Yes, he was so and he was a to help with some of the folks, Larry. Please call me right away. I'm on my deadline week here. So the sooner you call me, the more time I'll be able to spend with you. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll have you on again in a few weeks. Whenever you see something really significant, always let me know, and we'll squeeze you in, okay? Thanks a lot, Larry. Have a great trip there in London. You bet. Okay, this is Norm Winsky, folks, of Astro Trend. Now we're going to come back, and we're going to take a look at some of these markets. So bear with me one second as I get ready to uh, bring the uh, page up so that we can see What's going on? It doesn't take very long now that I finally understand how to do this. I go to screens and click it, and that brings us to where we are uh, right now. And as I bring this up, I want to show you uh, one other one that is uh, going, uh, is having a big move, and that is the euro. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. We've had some big outstanding targets in this. Look at the first ABCD here, folks. You know, it, it went through here like it didn't even exist. And now we're all the way up to the 78% level here. This is one that we did. We tried it here, lost our 15 pips. It was a really nice ABCD, as you can see. But there was a bigger one, and that's this one that's going on right now. And we're up against this big one. With this strength like this, it's best that you sort of stand aside and wait and see. But the one thing that we should do, the one thing that we should do is we should try to verify what this low was right here because that's where the the big daddy rabbit started to play. You see, the pullback here was not very much. This one was really shallow. So if you go by, the, Johnny, put the 3.8 placard down to see if this one works because we don't want to tell the people if it doesn't work. But if we take the low down to this level right here, and up to this level right here, and lo and behold, look at this, 382, 382, 382, and this one here, then it takes off and goes to the races. And actually, this was not a good sell here, folks, because with this wide bar like this, one would think, uh-oh, we're going to make at least the extension of that bar right here. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg. And look where we are right now, folks. We're dancing with the devil right up here at the 78% level. And that, and not only that, but look what happens here. Oh, my goodness. You know, holy cow. Sh shut the front door and raise the rent. Look at this. There's your ABCD leg right here. We can easily, folks, get up to 106.78. We could go another 20 pips higher. And I believe that's where we're going to go. That has taken six weeks to get here, folks. With higher bottoms along here, look at your 78% level here, 78% level, 382 here, and look where we're heading. This was the reason, folks, that you were getting ready to see the bond market getting ready to kick the proverbial uh, signs down. And that's why the bond market is giving such a move here. Look at this bond market today, 107 to 110, 3,000 American dollars. And who's standing at the bus stop without a position? Raise both hands. 
We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, we're going to take a look at this bond market here one more time. Um, somebody said, you know, we're going to go straight up. Well, heck, who knows? Anyway, this is what the bonds have done since July. We had this move right here. You'll notice that that was exactly equal to the other one, to the tick. There was your 382 retracement. It actually came in at 0.3, which is a total of eight pips. We came down to this level, exceeded the thing by a lot, if you remember, came down even more. Then we rallied from 109, basically, to 114 we rallied five points okay that was if you'll notice here that was equal to what we did the other time just a little bit more this time we're going to go higher than that we're going to make at least 112 and the reason why i say that is is if we look to see where the 382 retracements were on this from your high down to your low you see we went right up to the 382 retracement so what you do is when you have a new low You've got what? You've got a new high to measure from. So you go from your high down to your low, and your 3A2 is going to take you up into this area here, 112. That's going to be at least six handles. Folks, we did three in two and a half hours. Hello, operator. I mean, you know, we're going to go a lot higher than that. You don't see anything. Well, you do here. 
you see this big move here went from 108 up to uh, well see that rallied two points in a few days and it backed off went sideways but this is power folks and we want to follow what's going on with the power so that's what we're watching looking at this closely you can already see today we'll just draw this up so we can see it a lot bigger from your high that we made back here on the 12th you'll see you drew down and you went up to the 382 which was 10928 we're substantially above that so that tells us what you're going if you're trading shorter term or even longer term go down to your smaller time frame like this and as you can see here you know we don't have anything you know once we went through the 1.618 today this thing was off to the rail it was off to the races from the very beginning down here tonight when the you folks were asleep we were making these smaller patterns in here and this one oh we got to take a break see you on the flip side tomorrow folks live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless